Hey, brother. Hey, morning, sir. How hey, you doing? Uh, who would have guessed it when we showed up this morning? <laughs> Look, we already got uh, Scott over here is playing rescue as well as Sam. There's, a, there's actually not gonna be a whole lot that we have to do on this one. Sheriff showed up, they got a pump going. About three o'clock today, the uh, tide is coming back in, so the boat will actually end up right itself. He'll be able to get it out of here, but right now, Scott's just getting a little water pumped out. While he's doing that, we're gonna start getting some lift bags out, and we got a uh, plan to go get ourselves a pickup truck today. What's up, buddy? Did your boat sink? Oh, that's your boat right there? Don't worry. They're gonna get it floating again for you. Sailboat's gonna be just fine. And you know how IT guys are? Like, once you give them yeah. a new toy, <laughs> they will not do anything else. So we got Sam on camera today. Thank you, Sam. We're gonna go get in the water. Let's go see what we can find today. All right, check, check, check. We got audio, Peyton's playing. Sam socializing. Like right, uh, Nate's going to uh, do a marker. All right, at 45 feet, we have a car I've not seen before. Oh no, this is a gangster car. I don't know what kind it is. So that, that is the blue car. The one I was calling the gangster car before. I thought it was after the crawl, though. Parking up here by the door somewhere. I cannot tell what kind of car that is. Oh, there's also supposed to be a uh, 68 Camaro that we're going to go looking for on um, Thursday. I don't think this is a Camaro though. Not sure what it is. Alright, let's keep going on. I just ran into uh, Mark and Scott down here. We're down at uh, 69 feet right now. Got found the 4x4. We found a Mazda that we're on right now. Alright, I'm gonna head over to see if I can find this uh, 4x4. Hey, there's a surgeon down here. Hey, surgeon, what's up, buddy? There's another surgeon. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, you're a beautiful thing, huh? Can I pet you? Nope. Oh, okay. Okay, I found the Jetta. It is at 71 feet. Right, I'm trying to get the license plate on this, but I can't. License plate is DDZ, or Delta Delta Zebra. Tommy Alpha. I don't know if that's right or not. Alright, anyway. I'm gonna start heading back up. My right, back window's busted out. Hey, what's up, pumpkin? Alright, so if you're wondering where the decompression stop is, it's usually between 15 and 20 feet, three minutes. When you're down deep like that, you want to do a decompression stop to let the uh, nitrogen escape from your bloodstream. When you go down deep, your nitrogen levels build up. We have uh, roughly a minute 12 left. All right, there we go. The nitrogen has been released from my body. Let's head on up. Hey, what's up, Sam? How's it going, man? What do you got? I got an old boot and a pumpkin. That's crazy. Will that fit you? No, but I got a friend that only has one hey, leg. Yeah, he'd love it. Did they find the truck? The 4x4? I don't know. I, didn't, I don't know if they found it or not. Hey, Mark? Yeah? Did you guys find the 4x4? <laughs> no, I was on the same car you were on, the Mazda. The Mazda. Did you mark it? Hey, Scott did. Yeah, looks like we're pulling a Mazda today then. Hey, Jared, how do you charge that? With a charger, Tatum. You charge it with a Tatum, with a charger. So we got Sam here. Sam, our, our entire plans have just changed because if you notice, that boat is looking worse than when we uh, saw it this morning. Yep. As a result, uh, we're not gonna get a car today. No, no, we're gonna help these people. They're in need and we're here. So that's what it's all about. And we're gonna put Sam in charge of this because Sam's entire profession, tell us about your profession, like who you actually are. Who I am in, in my real life? Yeah. 
I'm a rescue captain. I work up in the Puget Sound all the way from the San Juan Islands down to the Olympia. Um, salvage boats. You know, we go out and save people that are in this type of situation. Um, work on boats, go diving. Uh, with, and, and when they're sinking like this, do you normally do like do this much talking for the camera? Or do you like normally never, like, never like, do it on it? So like right yeah, now, yeah, I'm not talking. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I don't, I don't talk during this. Yeah, yeah. Usually this is no talking business time. Go okay, to work. Well you get to get it. it done. I'll just record <laughs> what it is that you do. What's Sounds the name of your business? Murky Water Marine Services. So I'll leave a link to his uh, actual business. You have a business website? Yeah. I'll leave, I'll leave a link down below to his actual business website and. Be sure to check out Sam, the Adventure Man, because right, get to work. he'll get to work. Yeah, yeah, get to work. He's got his uh, own YouTube channel. He's, he's doing a lot more uh, salvage operations and dives with me. So be sure to check him out. Let's uh, let's save this guy from uh, yeah sinking. This is his home. Like we need to take care of him. Yeah, we have a fin kill, so I'm just gonna wrap a wrap a line around that. Find an anchor point. We're gonna attach the two lift bags. And bring that sucker right up out of the water. Then we're gonna pump her out and get her floating. So Bob, sorry it took us longer to get over here. We thought oh. that you had this under control. Well, I was trying. So were you in the like were you sleeping when this happened or like how did this no, happen I was this at morning? The grocery shopping. Doing my mid-monthly uh, supplies groceries and stuff. And then you just came back and your boat was like like I this? Came back and it was sitting on a rock. I couldn't get it to move. By the time we got guys down here to help me move it. We've already laid over, couldn't move it anywhere. So I guess some people have never seen the other, other side of a, a sailboat before, so we... Here so, it is. Well, <laughs> here, here, here it is. That I'm talking about, like, the keel. What is it? What is a keel and what does it do? Oh, it helps maintain the balance of the boat. Most of the weight for the sailboat is at the keel. It's at the bottom. It's a triangle. That way when the waves hit and it goes, you know, through rough seas, it'll always stay upright. Even if it flips over, as long as a lot of water doesn't get in the cabin, it'll right itself. So, sailboat's pretty safe. Except when you get them in shallow water, because that keel hangs down, what, six to eight feet? Uh, yeah, this one's four feet. So only only four feet on this one? Yeah. Okay, so that's what happens. The, the keel ran aground on a rock, and that's what ended up flipping it when the, when the tide went down. All right, next step in the process, Sam, is what? I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna attach the bag. Then we're gonna tighten up the line a little bit. I just don't want to lose the attachment because when we pull on it, it can get sucked under. That's exactly what I want it to do. So, so this, this is where I want to point out. I'm actually, uh, we have our own lift bag company that we just launched as yes, well. Yes. I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description below. But if you notice, what we've done with our bags, which uh, we don't have out here today because we just started the company, we're actually tightening this up even more and going with a, uh, 40, or with a uh, almost a 10,000 pound D-ring on there. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and as a professional, <laughs> yeah, that's you yeah. Like, you like that idea? Yeah, I like that, man. You get a lower, get lower. You can get the better. Yeah, the and tighter you can get. And we're getting away from the uh, 6,000 pound seatbelt strap, and we're going with a uh, 12,000 pound two inch strap. Oh, that's great. That, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I like it, man. Looking yeah. forward to trying it. So if you're a diver or you know any type of salvage operation, be sure to check out the link down below, MrLizzy.com forward slash lift bags. Oh, that's a little bit of a mess in there. So the two strongest points on the sailboat then, Sam? Yeah. The keel and the mast, right? Uh, I don't know actually. That's what, that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, that's the two strongest points. This is fun, actually. I do like this thing. So the reason why uh, Bob ended up like losing this battle is the water ended up going in through this little door right here and his pump wasn't able to work fast enough so once we get the lip bag on here we're able to get it uh, floated on this side we can get the water level down below that little entryway then at that point the uh, pump that we got right here there we go the pump right there will then be able to uh, do its job and be able to actually get this thing pumped out for him and he'll be floating again later on this afternoon oh sorry about that are you good man Oh, that hose almost got. Oh, 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 wild hose, wild hose. Thanks, hey, Sam. You ready? Yeah. Gonna, uh, connect the hose and see if that's enough lift. You uh, only have to go like five inches. Yeah, it's not much. But if not, we'll attach the second bag. Because man, these things, uh, you know, something like this, it's weigh like you know, 5,500 pounds. I mean, that's a lot of ballast. We're gonna go do one more back there. Okay. Look at that. See how I get my, my patch held up. Look at that. Not a single bubble on there. 
Hey Jared, you know the tow truck gets here in like two hours, right? Well, that's if we were getting a car today. Well, that's what I thought we were doing. What do you mean? Listen, do you not see what's going on? You've been gone for a while, Tatum. I know, I wanted to go on a boat ride. No, look, Bob here takes priority, so you see this? There's carabiners. Like, we uh, can I sure you appreciate that. that. Hey, you're welcome, Bob. Hey, Jared. Yeah, Tatum only thinks you know what the chains are for the carabiners? Yeah, we got them up here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna grab some carabiners. I'll take those. Yeah, so the thi Bob, the thing about Tatum is Tatum doesn't know he's at uh, track with us, so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, don't worry, we, we, I got you covered. I need another bottle. You, you know, one bottle will do two bags. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. This is good then. It came up though? Yeah, see look, the okay, good. The motor was up underwater before. Hey Jonathan. Yo. See if Sarah will donate these tanks for us. Tell her it was for a good cause. You might have more pull with her than me though. Today's tanks were uh, sponsored by Sarah over there at Central Oregon Diving. She's an incredible individual, great family. Uh, bit, oh, what was that noise? Uh, anyway, if you're anywhere in Central Oregon, be sure to check out CentralOregonDiving.com because Sarah donated all the tanks for today's little rescue. Thanks, Sarah. We'll see if we get a uh, free tanks out of this one. Yeah. Hey, you want to yank that uh, hose out from the inside? Yep. Can you hold her? Yeah, right now it's just coming in through the windows. We got to be able to get this whole rail out of the water. Okay, so we need another bag on there? Yeah, we'll put another bag, try to secure it right here. That's bad. It's coming up. We're, we're, we're just now below those windows. Yeah. So we might. You're making progress. Hey, uh, you don't even need another bag on there. Maybe not. Oh, I'm gonna hang out and wait a minute and see. Yeah, it looks like the tide's coming in. Yeah, it's floating. Yeah. It's floating. The pump is keeping up with the uh, deluge of water that was coming in, and now it looks like Positive buoyancy. Hey, speaking of tide coming in, Sam, Sam, yeah, man, uh, the tide is coming in. You know, you got a van over there, and uh, if you don't move that soon, we might have to uh, rescue your van as well. Th thanks for the heads up. <laughs> You're welcome. I just noticed that. What's that? Oh, I'll tell you what that is. So we got a uh, new Matt Moss just showed up. Uh, another gentleman that uh, has been watching our videos, and he actually has some, uh, there's, there's spill pads. These are uh, courtesy of Northwest Pump and uh, Steve Cora. So North, North, Northwest Pump. Northwest Pump is your company? No, Northwest Meter Service is my company. Okay, so Northwest Meter Service is Matt Moss here, and he's the one that arranged for us to have, look at all these rolls, like three or four or five rolls of spill pads. So that way, as we're out and about, as the gas and the oils come up, out of these cars, not out of the boats. Normally we don't get oil and gas out of boats, but uh, out of the cars that we've been getting, at times you'll, you'll see the, the gas and the oil. 144 feet long by 38 inches wide. That's beautiful. I think 38 wide. Matt, I really appreciate that. Well, I saw the oil on the surface on a video and I figured I know where you could get some of this stuff for free. I was up at the top. What happened, Sam? Oh, uh, the owner, he was up here. He just knocked his uh, power source into the water. <laughs> so that kind of takes uh, the pump out of the equipment. Yeah, 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 no pump. So, but we got the railings up, um, the back of the boat and the, the windows, they're out of the water, so it should right itself. But we're, we're, we, or he, still got the water has to come out. Yeah, hey, my name is uh, Jared Lysica. Uh, we're divers down here. Uh, you had a sheriff uh, boat that was down here at the uh, Willamette boat ramp. I'm sorry, the uh, Milwaukee boat ramp earlier today. Um, anyway, the uh, we got the uh, boat floating. Well, I mean, we got it positioned so it's no longer sinking, but uh, the gentleman uh, dropped his, uh, uh, oh, what is it called, generator in the water so we no longer have a pump. See if you can send a uh, sheriff patrol back out with a pump so we can uh, finish getting this belt. Yeah. Well, it's floating again, that's a plus. Yeah, we're doing good, good to see you again. You know, and had uh, somebody, Bob, not dumped his generator in, we would have had it floating all the way. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, a little bit of a challenge Threw today. the generator in the drink, huh? Yeah, Whoops. take it home and dry it out. Speaking of boats, 147 sunk boats I hear are up here in the Willamette. Really? Yeah, that uh, article came out like uh, back in September, October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this would have been uh, 149. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's a little bit of water, Sam. Yeah, a little bit. 
so, more, uh, more than the other hose. Based in your uh, professional, like well, I don't know what you call it, in your professional assessment of the water flow and what's inside, how long does it take? An hour. One hour. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, about an hour. That's still a lot of uh, stuff in there, Sam. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You staying to uh, clean as well? No, get the thing floating. <laughs> get all the water out. That's clean cleaning I'm doing. On a regular boat rescue. Uh -huh. Like I mean this this is your profession. Yes sir. And uh, we're not charging this guy a dime today. Nope. I mean this is his home, this is where he lives. So I, I, and, I, and I apologize. Like if I called him homeless earlier, like I apologize for this. He's I've learned that people in boats technically are live not aboard. live aboard. Yep. So they are not technically homeless. No, no, a lot of people choose this lifestyle. I've actually, uh, I've lived on boats for about three years. Three out of the last five years I've lived on boats. Yeah. And and so if you were to charge somebody for something like this, how much would you charge them? Um, well, if it's an insurance job, usually, if it's an insurance job, it's uh, normally around 10 grand. If it's out of pocket, you know, we'll, we'll cut that in half and you know, we'll work with the people, you know, whatever, you know, wherever, whatever their situation is and uh, you know, we'll make things work. So, so the cheapest that you would do this for if it's an out of pocket is what? Um, for, for this here, you know, since we're here, we're here at the dock, uh, we're not out in the middle of the water. We didn't have to, you know, bring any boats out. Um, you're probably about two grand. So there you have it. That answers your question. How much does it cost to float a boat? Depends. Two to 10 grand, depends, yeah, your situation. <laughs> depends if insurance is paying for it. And it depends if uh, you just happen to have a couple of divers that are uh, looking to enjoy the day. Yeah. That's totally. that's what today was about. Hey, Peterson, I thought you got off at four. Yep. We can make that deadline for you? <laughs> probably not. Yeah. It's all right. So it looks like he has a couple holes in the hole where the davit used to be. So I'm just going to raise it up so we don't have that flooding in. This boat's going to sink again. You put money on that one? Be a pretty safe bet. I've got big money. Big money. So, listen, I, I'm starting to feel bad. We're actually taking bets that uh, his boat's going to 100% sink. <laughs> nothing, nothing Reality. bad to feel about being real. Yeah, it's under knee deep. That's, that's good. Yeah. You know when they say knee deep, you literally knee deep. Yeah. <laughs> George. Takes me a while to get this thing back up and yeah. straightened out again. It's actually, it's actually balanced out pretty good right now. Just waiting on the pump to do its thing. So if you're still down, it'd be good to connect your or connect your boat yep. and pull it out a little bit for the tide. Yeah, because right now tide's changing. Better safe than sorry. You know, we could stay the night on the boat instead of the uh, that's good hostel idea. that we're staying in. Hey, that's a good idea. I don't know though, I kind of like the bunk bed idea. Yeah, me so, and you, yeah, so, Sam, beds. Sam and I are actually staying in a hostel tonight. Room for so many activities. Uh huh. Because tomorrow we're coming back to this location, right over there. Because we've been told that there's a couple of uh, murder weapons over there. That's right. So let's see if we can find. So that means that if you've not already done so, make sure to subscribe right now. Turn on that little bell notification because who knows? We might get a gun tomorrow. A tattoo. We'll see you later, buddy. All right, so if you can uh, feed the dog twice a day. Okay. He likes uh, long walks on the beach. Well, good, so do I. And uh, I, along just fine. I got an extra drink in the car if you need it. Okay. We're floating. We're a floater. <laughs> what is that noise? Oh, the dog. Hi, dog. Please leave your message. Oh, oh hell. Mom Davis. Oh, because he's taking off? <laughs> Yeah, let me just check real quick. Linda, call Sean or Kenny for me. And he's making a phone call. Come get me. Thank you. Right now we're gonna check and see if there's any more water coming in, see if there's any holes or anything. Um, and then after that we're gonna release the air in the airbags and then we'll, we'll say if it's done or not. All right, so not everybody understands how these uh, pumps work, Tatum, so why are you, you doing that? prime it, so you gotta, basically if, it, if you don't prime it, you're gonna have it's just gonna move air basically and it won't create a vacuum. We gotta get this screen off the end though. Why? It won't pump. Oh, it's too uh, too low. 
Um, oh, that's good. Is there another spot at all? Is there a bilge? Do you have a bilge cover? Lift up your bilge yeah. cover. I can do that right down here. Oh, that's right below. Yeah, so being clear yeah. spot, lift up your bilge cover. So, and so for those of you who don't know what a hostel is, um, it's the when no, you're too cheap. Not a brothel. It's not where there's women. It's how you feel after Thanksgiving it's dinner a, with your family. It's a men's hostel. That means that there's 12 bunk beds in there. And because and because uh, Sam and I are too cheap to pay for a hotel room, or we can't afford one, like we're out here volunteering. Um, so with that, a hostel allows you to stay in a hotel-ish for a lot cheaper. Hey, I thought you tied us off, Tatum. I was just telling him that. I'm not very good at my knots and boats and stuff. I love that it's all his fault. <laughs> yeah, it's always his fault. Yeah. How many boats a month do you figure you are saved from drowning? Um, from drowning? This is probably the first. I'm gonna pull you guys out to like that second pole. Oh, where I wanted to go. <laughs> yeah, but it's your fault we didn't get there the first time. I, oh, That's okay. That's what I've learned here. <laughs> um, and we'll just bow tie him to that and then he can do whatever with the uh, current from there. You know, since you've been with me, how many boat rides have you gotten now? Yeah. yeah what, with Scott? What, with Scott, Walt? Got some oh, we've done a lot of boating I say 60% of the time. We need a boat. We do need a boat. We need a boat. Well, boys, this is our first official boat ride together. The sun is setting. Water's so romantic. Calling. Yeah, I just want to let you guys know. It kind of is. But yeah, look, look at that. It's, it is beautiful. Just, just came down. You know, we, we should do this like every uh, yeah. Monday. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's Saturday. Well, for you it is, because he's ditching work. But it's really Monday. Yep, that looks good. The rabbit comes out of the hole, goes around the tree, back through the hole. I couldn't go around the tree. What is that, Tatum? That's what grandma's not. You're going to have to stay with Bob if that's your uh, knot. Just well, so you can hold it. That's how we got here. I'm just gonna do a, I think it's called a granny knot because we're not gonna be that's here long. That's what I did. Perfect, look at that, bam. Oh, so I, I was gonna have <laughs> we're not, we're not, We're not going far, we're not going fast, and we're not gonna be here long, so that's good enough for the moment. I can't believe you couldn't do that, Tatum. Like, <laughs> see how easy that is. Well, I didn't want to do the next step because I thought it was really gonna knot it on it, and if he tugs on it, he's stuck. Yeah, yeah. it is. Just well, granny knot. Right. It's about time on my tax dollars pay for something. <laughs> Wait, how's he supposed to get back now? He's gonna go back. I'm gonna go get him. Oh. Are you gonna swim out there? Yeah, I'm just gonna swim out okay. there and disconnect. I will go get him then. We're good. Bob, that uh, wraps up. Your boat is uh, floating again. Thank you very much. Thanks. Like I've told you before, if you guys need any help, get a hold of me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we know where you're hanging out, so yeah, we'll yeah. heat up for sure if we need anybody. I'll pay it forward. Yeah, and uh, next time, pay attention to the boat float or keep it floating, all right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that wraps up another episode of Adventures of Purpose where uh, you never know what it is we're going to get ourselves into. So, you know, thanks to everybody. We got Matt, we got Mark, we got. You guys know everybody. You know, we got the sheriff here, we got Sam. It's been an incredible day. Thanks for tuning in again. If you've not already done so, make sure to subscribe. We'll be back on the next one. Mark, send us out. Later, later. Bye-bye.